Today we're going to look at determining the texture of a soil sample using the hand testing method. Soil texture is basically the composition of a soil in relation to sand, silt and clay, with sand being the coarsest particle and clay being the finest. Uh, soil texture has major implications on how we manage our soils. It influences the water holding capacity of the field, it influences the water infiltration rate, it influences the nutrient retention of the field and also the erodibility of the soil. So what do we need for this experiment? We need a ruler, we need water and most importantly we need a soil sample. Now this soil sample has come from a field at home. Um, I have taken about five samples from about an area of a half an acre and I took them from areas that would represent that portion of land fairly. So I would stay away from water troughs, uh, feeding areas, ditches um, and, and gates. So what I'm doing right now is I'm running the sample between my finger and my thumb and I'm going to remove any larger particles greater than about two millimeters in diameter. Um, and I'm hoping just to have the sand, silt and clay left. So as I work through the sample, I'm going to feel the sample and feel for its grittiness. Grittiness is an indication of coarse sand and I can find some coarse sand in this, but more importantly, I'm finding or I'm feeling um, a lot of smoothness and that is an indication of clay. And we need clay in our soils for cation exchange for the retention of nutrients, um, particularly those nutrients that we put onto our fields every year, um, like nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. So, just having a feel of it there. Now, I think that's it mostly done. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather my sample and I'm going to just put a small bit of water in it, okay? Um, now this sample isn't completely dry, so I don't need that much water. And I'm gonna put about two mils on it. And what I'm gonna do with the sample is I'm going to work it in my hand and I'm gonna for form a ball. And this should take about two, me or two minutes. Um, and you just want to work the water in. And as I'm doing this, I'm feeling for, again, its grittiness and its smoothness. And clay has an elastic property, which allows it to be molded. So if your, sand, if your sample can't be molded, it could be an indication that you have a lot of sand in it. But as you can see, this sample has no problems with being molded. And again, just going to take about two minutes to do this and as you're doing it constantly feel for stickiness which can be an indication of clay and again if your hands are stained that is also an indication that there's silt in the soil so I have my sample it has been molded Okay, and what I'm going to use now, <clears throat> I'm going to use my thumb and my finger here. And I'm going to create a wee crook and I'm going to put the sample in and I'm going to create ribbons. So I am. And I'm going to take multiple samples from this. Okay. So I'm just going to push it. Create a ribbon. This can naturally fall off itself. There's one. There's another one. That's a bit drier. And I'll probably get about six or seven samples from this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 
the length of the ribbon. So here you can see the ribbon. And if I put it on the ruler here, it's not quite three centimeters. Now, I've done this experiment earlier on and I've taken multiple samples and I'm going to continue to take multiple samples and I'm going to put my results in a table and then I'm going to calculate the average. After I've done that, I'm going to use the results on a ribbon table to determine the texture of the soil sample.